Welcome back. It's the Burns and Gambo Show here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Spring training is underway for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitchers and catchers reported earlier this week. Full squad reports next week. The first Cactus League game is not that far away. It's our pleasure here on Burns and Gambo to welcome in one of the newest members of the D-backs. We had him on right after he signed. Eduardo Rodriguez joining us here on Arizona Sports. Eduardo, welcome back to the show, man. It's Dave and Gambo. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. You know, it's a pleasure to, to have this kind of conversation with you guys. So I really appreciate it. Last time we talked, we were talking about how important it was for your family to relocate out here with you and the importance of family in this decision. I assume everything is well with them and everybody's where they need to be and everybody's happy that you're here. Oh, yeah. We're all happy to be here. Family, like I said, like I said in the past, uh, relocated family here and everything. So we on the, we, we call it already. This is the right place. So. It's just, we're just glad to be here. We, when we talked earlier, it was right after you signed, and obviously we spent a lot of time talking about your relationship with guys within this organization. Now that you're back with Tori, and Tori is your manager, and I know it's just spring training workouts, but you're obviously around him every day. What's it been like being around him, and how familiar has it felt to you to be coached by Tori Lovello again? Uh, he's been a pleasure. He's been a pleasure to be in, um, to be around with him again. You know, every day, every day out there, um, and it just feels like you know, it's not even feel like it's not even feels different. It just feel like you just say it just feels familiar to me. It just the difference is now he's a, he's a manager, but it feels the same way that he when, when he was in Boston. You know, uh, he's amazing as a person, as a manager, as a coach when I have it. So it's not a, it's not a, 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 that big of a change. You know, it's just it's just a respect that he that he deserve we all have on him now that he's a manager. So I, I just love, I just love to have him as my manager and, and it's a pleasure to be here with him. Eduardo, you've always been in the American League, Boston and Detroit. Now you're coming to the National League, different ballparks, different teams. Interleague play probably helps with that a whole lot. And, you know, the, there's a designated hitter in both leagues now, so that probably helps a lot. But what's the biggest difference for you? What do you got to get adjusted to going from the AL to the NL? Uh, for me, I will say the, um, the only adjust that I need to make is um, study a little bit more on the, um, on the division. You know, I started the, um, the teams that are going to face now the most rather than in the past. I just face, uh, so just face these guys once, maybe through every year, you know, because it was just a different, different, um, different league and different division. So now it's just that. Now it's just more on, um, on study what the, what the hitters are, where they at. Get together with the pitching coach and um, and have a good plan for 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 every time that I face uh, the teams. You know, that's the only thing that I'm really gonna look for at, uh, this season. Is there an advantage for you with them not being that familiar with you, or is it more an advantage for them? No, I think it will be. I don't see the advantage now because uh, nowadays, when you have you have a lot of videos and you can you can be more prepared for for facing a pitcher or facing a hitter. So. No, the most advantage. The only thing, the only difference is just you're gonna see a live, but you're gonna be more prepared for for what you're gonna face. So, Eduardo Rodriguez is our guest here on the Burns and Gambo Show. Uh, one of the things that we are gonna talk about today is the last time the Diamondbacks spent big in free agency to get a pitcher. It, it didn't work out so well. And everything that we're reading about you in the in the days that you've been there around the team, that you're working very hard to get to know the guys, to counsel the other guys, to kind of help with the other guys. How important is that to you to kind of ingrain yourself into that culture and be available to them to make them better players? Yeah, I mean, um, from that part, I learned that for uh, from when I was in Boston back back over there, um, I got a lot of better and guys, a good better and group of guys, and. They teach me that way, you know. The more that you can get with your teammates, the more you can help, the better they can be, and the better you can be too, you know. So, and get to know them. I like to be like that. I like to be a guy that are always over there in the bullpen, always over there, kind of being accountable with everybody on the weight room, in the training room, the bullpen, BFP, whatever. I try to be the most accountable I can be with everybody. So, I just try to do my best to to help all of them, you know, every day, in and out. As soon as I get to the field, jump out of the field, I just try to do the best as I can. So, so many changes last year with the rules, and I know some of the older pitchers were struggling early. You know, Max Scherzer or Justin Verlander with the pitch count. How did that? How did that affect you? Was it? Was it having to get rid of the ball so quickly now? How did that change your approach to how you pitch? 
Uh, for me, I don't see that big of a that big of a change uh, because I've always been a guy who will get the ball and get on the rubber and throw the next pitch and like that. So I try to work fast. So it doesn't it doesn't make me feel any difference. I know there's a lot of guys that work differently, man. So, but for me, it was just it was just the same. Just you just had a clock over there, but for me, it was just the same way. So it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez is our guest here on the Burns and Gambo show. Th- this one might be a little weird for you because you weren't here last year, but it sounds like everyone's making a real effort to try to put what happened last year behind them, to not rest on that, to not you know remember that too much and try to make this a brand new year. How much of an effort have you noticed around this team to, for lack of a better word, to kind of forget about what happened last year? Yeah, it's just um, I just because I mean, on my experience, uh, because I went to the post before we went we win the World Series, we went to the postseason twice, and um, and I know how how that feels, you know. So it's just it's just getting on the leave it on the path and just um, take the benefits you have, which is you already been in the postseason, that you already know how it feels, how how it is to be out there, how it is to be on the game. So take it as advantage, and just and just uh, move on and, and go for the next one, you know. So. I already had that opportunity, so if I had an opportunity to talk to one of them and they asked me about it, I will, I will turn to what, what my experience was and, and try to get them on a, on a better position if I can. Do you work early with working on your chemistry with Gabriel Moreno and all the catchers, but obviously he's the main guy. How much work do the two of you put into that, this part in this stage in spring training? Uh, it's not that hard, you know, because we both come from the same country, speak the same language, so it's literally not that hard when you come from the same country with a guy here in in, um, in Emberley, you know, it's right away, you catch right away, you catch everything right away, and I will have to tell you the truth, it's not that hard to catch up with a with a guy from your country, especially pitching and a catcher, he's so easy, you know, he already caught, he already caught one of my bullpens, and it's just amazing to have that, that kind of catcher behind the home play for me. The rivalry with the Dodgers, it's it's a big one. You had it when you were with Boston. We know you don't you have any no love lost for for the Dodgers from your perspective, but going up against Shohei Otani, you've had some success against him. He's two for eleven against you. It's a one eighty two batting average. He does have the one home run, but only one RBI. What has been the key to your success pitching against Otani? Um, I, I don't want to tell you that because uh, I got to face it. But like, <laughs> but be, being honest with you, for me, it's no matter who is out there, it's just how I'm going to attack it. You know, like if I get a good plan for that hitter and I, and I locate my pitches, I throw what I want. I, I feel I'm going to get a good success out of this. So I don't really see the name on the back. I just see a guy hitting over there, and I just have to see my spats. So that's the way I see everybody that I face. You know, is he, you're, is he different at all, though? I mean, he's. He, he might be the best player in the game. He's a generational type of player. Many people think he's like Babe Ruth. I mean, is there any difference at all when you face him? No, I mean, like like I say, for me, like I know the guy is special. The guy is really good at it, but what he do, like hitting and pitching. But like I say, for me, every time he step, he step on the box or whoever he's hitting and step on the box, he, I just got a plan and, and and throw the ball right where I want it. You know, I don't really, like I say, I don't really think, you know, the nail on the back. It's just a lefty out there, a righty out there. I just got, I just have to execute my pitches, and and I know I'm going to have success if I, if I execute it the right way. Eduardo, always a pleasure. We appreciate you coming on for a few. Best of luck with the rest of spring. I know we'll catch up with you at some point during the regular season. Thanks oh, for the yeah, time for today. Sure. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Th- you guys, too. Thanks, Thank Eduardo. You so much.